Dear learners, so far we learn to manipulate the data tables by using SQL commands. Now it is time to learn about building forms using Oracle Form Builder. Introduction This unit is based on Developer 2000 Forms. It introduces the basic concept of forms used for form designing. It focuses on architecture of an Oracle form. Objectives The objectives of the unit are to explain Description of various components of an Oracle form Various properties of window and layout editor Introduction to form Dear learners, the Oracle form designer is a graphical tool which helps to generate sophisticated forms quickly. This tool allows designing forms used to capture and validate data with minimum code. Form components The Oracle form components comprise these components as shown Form designer, form generator and run form. Let us discuss each one. The form designer is a component used by programmers to create a form. It allows user to design the layout of data entry screens and write code that may be required for data manipulation and validation. The form generator component is required to compile the file created in form designer and creates an executable binary file. The run form component is used to run the compiled code created by form generator. Application development in Oracle Forms Any application being developed using Oracle Form contains a combination of these components Form Module, Menu Module, PL SQL Library and Object Library. The Form Module is simply a collection of objects such as Windows, Blocks, Canvas Items and event-based PL SQL code blocks called Triggers. The menu module is a collection of objects such as menu items, submenu items and triggers. The PL SQL library is a collection of PL SQL program units whose code can be referenced and called from other modules. The object library is a collection of objects related to form which can be used in form development. Form module. Dear learners, let us now discuss the form module in detail. The form module consists of these components, block, items, canvas views, windows, and PL SQL code. Now let us discuss these one by one. Block. A block is a container that holds a related group of objects such as text items, lists, and buttons. Blocks do not have a physical representation. Rather, only the items contained in a block are visible in the application interface. However, like other objects, blocks have properties and can be created, copied, and modified. Blocks provide a mechanism for grouping related items into a functional unit for storing, displaying, and manipulating records. Just as tables in the database consist of related columns and rows, blocks contain related items that display data. There is no practical limit to the number of blocks that can be defined in a form but a form must have at least one block. Types of blocks Dear learners, there are three classifications of blocks, data and control blocks, master and detail blocks, single record and multi-record. Data control blocks Data block the data blocks are associated with data that is table columns within a database. By default, the association between a data block database allows operators to automatically query, update, insert and delete rows within a database. Control block. The control block is not associated with the database tables, rather has control items. The control item may be an item to initiate an action or display item or input item. There are three control items. These are two input items and a display item. The button add initiates add action. Master detail blocks. The master block displays 
a master record associated with detail records while a detail block displays detail records associated with the master record displayed in a master block for example record may be defined in master block and all dependence records may be defined in the detail block single record multi record the single record block displays single record at runtime while multi record displays multiple records items items are actual objects contained in blocks dear learners the items contained in a data block are called control items similarly the items contained in data block are called data items the control items and data items both can be placed in a data block but usually this is not recommended the control block as shown has two control items canvas views a canvas is a surface inside a window container the interface items are placed and the end users interact with them when they run the form by default any canvas created at runtime is assigned to the window named window 1 to explicitly associate a canvas to a specific window sets the canvas window property accordingly dear learners Let us now discuss various types of canvas views. The type determines how the canvas is displayed in the window to which it is assigned and determines which properties make sense for the canvas. The various types are content, staked, vertical toolbar canvas, horizontal toolbar canvas. and tab canvas let us discuss briefly each content the content canvas it is the default type which specifies that the canvas occupies entire content area of the window to which it is assigned most canvases are of the type content staked the staked canvas It specifies that the canvas is displayed in its window at the same time as the window's content canvas. Staked views are usually displayed programmatically and overlay some portion of the content view displayed in the same window. Vertical toolbar canvas. It specifies that the canvas be displayed as a vertical toolbar under the menu bar of the window. The iconic buttons, pop lists and other items on the toolbar may be defined if desired horizontal toolbar canvas it specifies that the canvas be displayed as a horizontal toolbar at the left side of the window to which it is assigned tab canvas the tab canvas it is composed of one or more tab pages which allows us to group and display a large amount of related information on a single dynamic canvas object Like staked canvases, tab canvases are displayed on top of a content canvas. It occupies less space to save as compared to other canvases. Window. Dear learners, window is the next component of form module under discussion. The window limits the boundary of canvas views. However, The size of window can be increased or decreased which automatically increases or decreases canvas view. Window is basically a container that is used to contain the canvas objects. Like other objects, window has its own properties. User can adjust these properties by using properties window. PL SQL code. The PL SQL code is the last component of form module. Dear learners, Oracle Form Builder provides PL SQL editor interface called Trigger for the entering and compiling code objects. The code objects include event triggers, subprograms, menu item commands, menu startup code and packages. Dear learners, after learning form module, let us learn what is a trigger. The trigger is an object that contains block of code. Every trigger object has a name and contains one or more pl sql statements dear learners form builder provides 
different triggers based on various events like when key pressed, when button pressed, when validate item and many more. Look at this trigger. It saves records when save button is pressed. Object Navigator The Object Navigator provides a hierarchical display of the objects in all open modules. Objects are grouped under the appropriate node. Dear learners, the top level nodes in the Object Navigator include forms, menus, libraries, object libraries, built-in packages and database objects. All other nodes and the objects they contain are intended to indicate that they belong to these higher level nodes. Look at the object navigator. The objects and nodes are displayed with the plus or minus symbol to indicate whether they are currently expanded or collapsed. A gray plus is displayed for a node that does not yet contain lower level objects. A round bullet is displayed in front of an atomic object that cannot contain any lower level objects. Each object in the object navigator is displayed with an icon that indicates its type. For some objects, double clicking the icon invokes an editor appropriate to that type of object. For example, double clicking the object icon for a canvas invokes the layout editor. Dear learners, let us now discuss some operations performed by object navigator. Expand and collapse entries to locate objects quickly, as shown. Select objects, as shown. Create and delete objects, as shown. Copy and move objects within and between modules, as shown. Switch between views to display the objects to work, as shown. Locate objects quickly by searching with fast search, as shown. Quickly display the code associated with objects such as triggers and program units as shown. Dear learners, in addition, commands may be selected in the object navigator from menu and toolbar. The toolbar provides quick access to commands. Click once on the icon for the command to execute. Property window. Dear learners, the property window is an easy way to customize any form builder object being created according to predefined properties. It is recommended to use comments property to add comments about the object for future reference. Layout Editor Dear learners, the Layout Editor is a graphical design facility for creating and arranging interface items and graphic objects in a form. Let us now discuss the architecture of a layout editor. The title bar displays context information such as name of the current form, name of the canvas being edited, and name of current block. The, the canvas is the workplace to place various items being used in the form. Layout editor permits working with only one canvas at any given instance of time. The horizontal and vertical rulers at the top and left side of the workspace provide a reference for sizing and arranging objects in the layout editor. The grid defined helps to position the objects within workspace.